I'm Jocelyn Lasseter, and you're watching the NTTV Online Report. Tornadoes tore through Oklahoma, Texas, and other southern states on Wednesday and are now moving towards southern Mississippi and Alabama. There has been uh, lots and lots of damage. Uh, there have been complete subdivisions uh, that have uh, sustained quite a bit of damage. So far, at least three have died in Texas, and there have been seven confirmed deaths total. There are also more than 100,000 people out of power due to the storms. Between Texas and Oklahoma, there was an apparent 10 tornado touchdowns, and cities are still looking at the damage. A U.S. church, the Church of Bible Understanding, is facing a neglect allegations for an orphanage home burning down in Haiti that occurred in February. The church was using candles in place of a generator or a battery for light. The fire ended up killing 13 children and two adults. Although the church has offered to pay for compensation and funeral costs, the church has been criticized for its poorly kept homes in Haiti and the contrast between its retail stores in the U.S. The church has not spoken up about the allegations. In relation to COVID, Senator Elizabeth Warren has announced on Thursday that her brother passed away due to coronavirus. Warren released on Twitter that her oldest brother passed away on Tuesday. Warren's brother, Donald Reed, was 86 years old and died after being confirmed positive three weeks ago. Reed was a 20-year-old decorated veteran of the Air Force, and he is survived by his siblings, wife, and two kids. The mayor of Colleyville has allowed for some non-essential businesses to open by appointment, as well as religious centers. However, now the businesses are confused on whether to follow state or local guidelines. With so many different regulations between states and city to city, many people are having trouble keeping up. However, as a rule of thumb, legal experts say it's best to follow state guidelines. Governor Greg Abbott is set to have a briefing on Monday that could possibly talk about restrictions and clear up some of the confusion. Governor Greg Abbott has also released new orders to help college students receive financial assistance during this time. Abbott removed restrictions on the Texas work-study programs in order to move money to other programs to be sent to students. With campus closings down, students aren't able to fulfill their duties and receive their aid. This includes multiple grant programs and will allow for students who rely on work study to still receive the help that they need. Although they are isolated from society, inmates of state and local jails and prisons are still being impacted by the coronavirus. The Texas Department of Justice released on Wednesday that there has been more than 45,000 offenders impacted by COVID-19, with 14,000 under medical restriction and 250 employees who have tested positive. Many units are no longer allowing visitation and some inmates are now calling for early release from fear of contracting the virus in the unit and some just might be eligible. On the front lines of this pandemic are all of our medical and healthcare workers. These people have been working throughout all of the lockdown and are putting their own lives at risk, helping the world overcome this. Many times these workers are even taken from their families in fear of not exposing them. In order to say thank you, People are encouraged to use the hashtag Thank You Thursday and share their story of a loved one or someone they know in the field. We hope you're able to stay safe and enjoy the music this weekend. Thank you for watching NTTV Online Report. Join us again tomorrow at 5.